Hi guys, let's get right into the video. First, I'm going to take some chicken broth and I'm going to put it in a pot. I'm going to boil that and I'm going to cook my elbow noodles. Next, while those are cooking, I'm going to take a bowl and I'm going to mix three eggs, two cups of milk, and one and a half cups of heavy cream. Go ahead and set that aside. Now I'm going to take some butter and I'm just going to put it in my noodles. I already drained them and put them in the pan I'm going to use. I'll just go ahead and mix that butter really good. Now I'm going to take about a cup of uh, sour cream and just mix that in as well. While you're doing all of this, you want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Okay, now time for the seasoning. I'm going to take some salt. Just start with about a tablespoon or two of each of the seasonings and just add as much as you like. Now I'm taking garlic powder. You can just keep adding it and then if you taste the noodles and feel like it needs more, then add more. Now some onion powder. Like I said, I just keep going until I like how it, it tastes. Some black pepper. And some paprika. And once you have all of your seasonings, you're just going to go ahead and give everything a good mix. And this is where you'll taste it to see if you want to add any more. Um, for me, that was good. I probably did it about one to two tablespoons of each. Okay, now I'm going to be taking the cheese. I used about a cup and a half of extra sharp cheddar cheese. And then I used about one cup of Monterey Jack cheese. And then go ahead and mix that all together. You can adjust... Uh, the ingredients depending on how much you're making. I did make a pretty big pan of it. Okay, just keep mixing everything together. Now you're going to take that mixture that you did earlier and pour all of that in there. That's what's going to make it very creamy and not dry. And I did try it at this point and there was so much flavor in it. It was so good. Okay, now I'm just going to be topping it off with some more extra sharp cheddar cheese. And I'm also going to be adding a little paprika on top for color as well. Okay, now I'm going to put this in the oven at 375 degrees for 45 minutes. And then after that, I will put it on broil for about another 10, just so the top can get nice and crispy. Okay, and you are going to want to let your macaroni sit. You don't want to dig right into it. Just let it chill for about 15, 20 minutes and look how good that looks. Okay, and let me go ahead and show you guys what it looked like on the inside. 
nice and creamy and full of flavor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.